Today, you have former chairman of TVA, and under your leadership, TVA canceled eight of 17 nuclear power plants they're looking at. Now, all of a sudden, they're back at it again. They want to build new nuclear plants, and they're talking about extraordinarily expensive plants. What do you think is the right way forward? Well, I think the TVA ought to recognize that the only thing new in the world is the history that they've forgotten. Uh, that, that basically, this is a technology that's tried and failed. It's not a new technology, and it has not been improved. It's the same light water reactors that inherently end up being very, very costly. They generate waste fuel that we uh, don't know what to do with. It is radioactive and lies around. And there's always the inherent risk of an accident that could cause uh, unimaginable harm uh, to people. Why build them when there is solar and wind and even, uh, uh, you know, biomass or natural gas or all sorts of other municipal waste, all sorts of options that they hardly explore. You know, nuclear power is one of the three poisons. Uh, and coal and all of the others, but you do not advance the ball by substituting one poison for another. We, in order for us to survive, we have to get rid of all three of them. And, you know, I, I think it was, I don't know who said this, but if you make a mistake once, well, shame on the people that took advantage of you. But if you go back there and do the same trick again, well, shame on you. And I know that the reason that we canceled the nuclear power plants was that the rates were going up, up, and up. And now we have a situation where they have numbers uh, where the nuclear plants would cost 12 cents a kilowatt hour at wholesale today. And then the price of uranium will go up. And the retail price in the valley is seven and a half cents. So they're guaranteeing you just one thing, the rates are gonna go up, up, and up if they go nuclear. And we have a situation with a solar plant where the sun will be free for the life of the plant. You fix the cost uh, and depreciate the plant and that, their costs will go down over time. So do you want a power plant that is radioactive where the price is high and going up? Or do you want a plant that is inherently clean or that uses the power of the sun and the wind and whose costs will inherently go down? I think anyone uh, that has that choice is going to choose the solar, and I would hope the TVA board would recognize that they do have that choice and make the right one.